Hello, all you girly men, and welcome back to Let's Play Jack and Daxter. I am Arnold, and I am playing this little girly game for PS2. And now we are going to go further into the dark cave. And when we get there, we are going to nab some power cells so I get more power, make my muscles bigger. No? Okay, I tried. Hey guys, it's Mage Captain Gilshanks, and welcome back. We are now going to go after some more Dark Eco Crystals, because we didn't really do that last time. And I'm going to try not to fall into the jelly. Apparently that's not going to happen! Okay, well, never mind. This is, uh, pretty unusual, because, you know, normally I, I record episodes in bulk, and I usually, like, you know, finish a level, and you know what I mean, like, f for each recording session, but I actually haven't recorded in days. Pretty much the last two or three videos were all recorded at once, and I just kind of stopped, like, halfway through the level for whatever reason. But here I am once again, and we have this guy who looks like he belongs in, in, uh, in Good and Lagan. I still don't know how to actually pronounce the name of that show. It's like, you know, Giga Dorir Prega! And I'm sorry, no, the English dub is completely unacceptable for that show. I, I, I'm not one of those guys who complains about all English dubs for anime, but the one for that show is just... No, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work. Anyway, let's keep going because... I don't know why I'm talking about freaking anime right now when we're trying to avoid falling in the jelly and we got these little spider lur uh, lurker douchebags and you want to try to not get hit by them. See, I don't really know how to demonstrate that. So basically all I can say is uh, don't do what I'm doing because, well, except for this part, the part where I'm not getting hit. Yeah, that you want to, that you want to keep doing, but not the getting hit part, if that makes any sense. So we nabbed ourselves as a power cell and it's less than two minutes in, so I'm actually kind of surprised. And with our little bit of blue ego, we jump, and of course, it takes us right back to the start. I don't know why they bothered making you go through that whole segment, uh, just to, you know, end up back here when we actually have more things to do in that area of the level. Then again, I could have just gone the other way, but, you know, I probably would have gotten killed from the spider lurkers, and who knows where it would have ended up. So, now that we're back over here, you'll notice that we have quite a platforming level, uh, well, not platforming level, but quite a platforming segment coming up, so... What do you want to do in this scenario? Well, you want to jump on things, and you want to make sure you don't have to fall off off the... Want to make sure you don't fall off... Fall off of things like I just did. Oh, just never mind. Just never you mind. You know what? That is a shortcut over there, but I forgot I actually want to get this pa this uh, Scalfly over here first, so... There are times when that was the last friggin' Scalfly. And, you know, it really sucks when, like, you miss that thing, because, you know... You don't even think to go over there, because usually I take a shortcut to actually go through this, and that's actually what I'm going to do, rather than go through this whole first level here. Um, so what we're going to do is try to master this again this time, and we're going to try not to fall off, though I can't really predict what's going to happen. And we want to get as many precursor orbs here as we can, that way I don't have to bother collecting a lot of them in the next level, because as I already, you know, as I already mentioned before, we only need 240. So having said that, we are now going to go even further up. And that's how you manage to skip that first uh, major seg segment of the, uh, the platforming segment of this area. Okay. And now we're going to skip Giga Drill Breaker once again. Um, because, you know, depending on where you are, sometimes it's easy to skip over him. You don't want to go right to him because see how he lifted his, uh, his drill into the air like that? Uh, yeah, sometimes he kind of just does that and then, like, you know, you can't just sort of do an aerial attack if he actually knows that you're there. So, kind of a pain in the ass. Another thing that's a pain in the ass is the fact that the X button on my PS3 controller is getting kind of stuck in place now, which makes it kind of difficult to do double jumps, so uh, I think that's something that's going to, you know, probably show itself soon enough, so I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Not that it really matters, but even so. So now we're coming along here, and I believe this is almost the end of it, although we still have a little bit left. And of course, I just managed to miss the fucking elevator, though I've got to say, as much as I don't like this level, it is at least cool looking. It could be worse. Because I could hate it, and it could look like shit. But it does look pretty cool. So I, I gotta give it, you know, I gotta give the designers props for that, at least. Even though I don't really like the level. Oh, I almost got hit by the fire. Sorry about that, Jack. Which reminds me, you know, I was actually playing that game on Facebook, You Don't Know Jack. And, uh, I really don't. Because, like, I never do well in the game. You know, I, I do well in, like, the first few rounds. But then, like, the last round, the Jack attack... And by the way, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Nintendo Caprice and actually just uploaded a video of that game recently. That's what introduced me to it. And, you know, it's it's enjoyable. I gotta give it that. But the thing is, like, the last round, you can be winning the entire game and you can easily screw yourself over on the last round. You know, it's 
it's one of those things where, like, most of the game doesn't even matter until you get to the last round, so... That's the one thing I'm really not too crazy about, but... You know, it's all in all, it's a pretty good game, and I'm really annoyed because I probably should have just gotten the damn power cell before going for that scout fly, so now I have to kind of go back around, but not a big deal, because we have some precursor orbs to collect, so that's always nice. How are we doing on them? We are at 169 now, and that's going to help me edit things later on, but never mind, that's something I shouldn't be bringing up. And now we're just going to keep going around and around, and then we're going to jump over here. And then we're going to go back the same way that we came the first time. But it's all fine and good, because this time we're actually going to power sell out of the deal. Now, notice that this thing is actually... Actually, you know what? Before I bring it up, I'm just going to, you know, get a better view of it, and then I'll show you what I mean. But this thing is actually a giant robot, and it's going to be pretty relevant later in the game, though not too much later, because we already are kind of at the end. We have one more level after this, and then the final level, and that's pretty much it. And uh, as you can probably tell, just from the fact that we're, you know, we pretty much have almost all the power cells here. I forgot that there was another thing to swing on. So let's actually go and make it to the power cell instead of getting sidetracked, because I saw that scout fly, and I just sort of said, Ooh! Scout fly! I want to get the scout fly! Yes, yes, mm, yes, mm, yes, scout fly! Um, speaking of which, I wonder how many scout flies are even left. Could have just done that. One more, and I, I believe I know where it is. So we are on the right track. Now from here, what you want to do, I don't know if I could actually make it, but you want to try and... Oh, I should have... <laughs> okay, I messed that up. I think you were supposed to jump from the lower ledge because you were a little bit closer. Not a big deal, though, because this is actually what you're supposed to do. I just like taking shortcuts that don't work when I'm actually recording. And with... Jack! Bastard. Let's try to not fall off this time. Well, actually, we do want to fall off, but not necessarily, like, you know, into the endless abyss there. And... It's just like, because you... There you go. Now, of course, I get it. What? What? Dude! Come on now, man. Let's... Can we please, like, stop messing this up? Because the good viewers at home, they don't want to see this. They don't want to see people just... They don't want to see the video game characters fall off and die. They want to see him grabbing... Why? Why is that not working? He's supposed to grab onto it automatically. Okay, you know what? I need to get to the bottom of this. We need to figure out what's going on. I'm actually surprised I'm only seven minutes in, but then again, there's a whole segment of this uh, level we still have to do. So can we... Really? <laughs> Three fucking times in a row? <laughs> I'm going to have to bring Arnold back in here? Or is that... Watch it! Okay. Okay! No, that's, that sounds more like Kuwabara than Arnold. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do voices. I really can't. You know, I worked with this guy who could actually do, like, a perfect imitation of Mini of Mickey Mouse. Like, like ridiculously. Like, he actually sounds better than Brett Ewan, the guy that the uh, they recently hired to replace the other actor who died. Um, and, you know, you can tell that, like, you know, he's do he does a good job. You can tell that it's not the same as the, you know, the other Mickey Mouse, you know, from, like, a few years ago. And all I, I can't say the original, but, you know, the one that most of us are used to. And, but the guy that I work with, my god, he's like a perfect imitation. It's like, I was like, what the fuck, when I heard him do it one day? And he was, and on top of that, he was quoting Kingdom Hearts lines, so that was just like, damn. And he could do Goofy and Donald, too, it's freaking crazy. I was like, can you do Sora? And he's like, no. <laughs> Alright, so enough of that segment. Let's get the fuck out of here, because I'm actually surprised I didn't have, you know, that much trouble. All things considered, I, I usually have a worse time with, with uh, that platforming segment, but, you know, at least we got it done with pretty fast, so... Relatively speaking, pretty fast. Anyway, I know we're eight minutes in, but believe me, I could have spent the whole video on that, so... I'm alright with that. So let's go and take care of the last thing we have to do. And if I could just pause the damn game, thank you. I hit the button like four times. We have to explore the Dark Cave, the last Eco Crystal, which is in the Dark Cave, and the last Scout Fly, which is also in the Dark Cave. So, your next question should be, where the fuck is the... D you know, it really breaks off your momentum when you're, like, in the middle of explaining something so eloquently, as I always do, and then all of a sudden you just get killed. That's something I really don't like about this game, the whole getting killed thing. I, you know, I'm just not really a fan. That's all I can say. But, having said that, let's make our way up here this time, and let's not get killed by Giga Drill Breaker over here, because he's facing the other way. No, no, he's not. God, it's okay, I'll take the hit, just don't kill me. 
screensaver, screensaver! Okay. I don't know how to justify that. <laughs> oh, I'm having- see, this is the problem. When I'm having too much fun, that's probably not a good thing because I think that ruins the quality of these videos to some extent. Um, shit, and the battery on my laptop is also low. That's not good. Well, I guess we're not going to be recording two videos in one go here without at least recharging the damn thing, but I have some time to myself, so I'm actually going to take advantage of that. And since we're done charging, we are going to record another video after this. But again, there's the things that I don't really need to mention right now. So now, you might be wondering, where is this damn dark cave, as I was trying to mention before? And the answer to that question is, it's right here! Which I think, actually, we already explored this area, but we didn't actually go into the dark cave last time, so let's actually do that. But first, in order to actually get to the dark cave, we have to cross these platforms, and we have to not die in the process. See, that's the catch. Crossing platforms, not a big deal. Not dying in the process, that's, you know, that's like a whole different ball game right there. But we actually managed to make it. And what you want to do is, you see this giant crystal here, you want to smack it because that lights it up. Too bad that doesn't work with other things in real life, that you, if you just smack them, they start glowing. That would be pretty cool though, like, in all honesty, like, that would be something, that would be like one of something you want to show off at a party. It's like, hey guys, smack me in the face, I'll glow. But you know what? If I were drunk enough, I would probably, like, believe that that would actually happen, so... <laughs> oh, just never mind. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. So let's just keep jumping up here. And we have our last scout fly! So... Pat yourself on the back, Gilshanks. We, we collected yet another power cell. So let's keep going. Uh, because I really don't want to lose the damn light before you jump onto this platform. Because, as you're about to see, yep, now it's completely dark and it's harder to see the platform. Well, it's easy. Okay. To be fair, this time it's easy. it was easy to see it even though it was dark. Because I put my capture, cl uh, capture card really. I put my capture card really bright. So because of that, I had an easier time actually seeing the platform. But normally, if you're just playing this at a regular brightness setting, uh, you cannot see that freaking platform. So you wanna, you wanna die, and then you wanna get it right the second time. Oh gee! I get hit by this freaking spider all the time. If not by the bigger one, then by one of the smaller ones. But it pretty much never fails. But at least getting hit here is not really the problem. It's more so just making it across these platforms. No, Jack, I didn't. I didn't want you to get hit, man. Oh, actually, you know what? It's kind of good that that happened because I forgot. The last dark eco crystal is down here. So let's get that. There you go. They put that a little too far down there. It didn't have to be that high up. There you go. We saw the power cell go through the wall there because... It's... I guess that was just, you know... Hey, you know what? The shortest route is a straight line. That's what they always say. Even if you're going through a wall, it doesn't matter. So let's go up on the bridge again, and let's actually tr oh, shit, 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 Okay, so now we have the platform, and let's jump on it before it goes away. And I know you can see it when it's dark, but normally you can't, and that's what I'm used to, because normally I play this on my TV, and my TV's much darker, and usually you can't see the platform. I wonder if we can actually see this elevator, though, because I guess not that it really matters now, but... Well, I think the elevator you have an easier time seeing. It's really just the platforms that you can't... So, see how I missed it there? I'm just gonna keep smacking this thing and lighting up the room. Look at it, it's like a, it's almost like a strobe light, except not really. But let's try to jump on it this time, and actually let's make, there you go, I didn't have to wait for it to go around. Efficiency at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go up here, smack this motherfucker one more time. And once again, we have to tediously wait for this thing to make its way around so that we can jump on it and not lose the light. I gotta make it. Oh, I, this camera is not helping me out right now. I, I could have seen that guy if the camera actually was, was cooperating. Okay, well, if we mess it again now, then I'm just gonna have to skip ahead because I really don't want to make this into a 20 minute video. So, ow. You know what? Try, maybe try not to get hit. I've, I've actually never died by just, like, you know, getting hit that many times in this area. It's always, my, it's always been by falling off. So, there I go making a liar out of my earlier point. Or, like, making a liar out of myself. Uh, with respect to my earlier point, and wow, I actually missed that jump. Oh, this is not gonna work. Well, let's see. If it goes dark, let's see if I can actually see the damn thing. Well, I, I okay, I can't really see it, but I just was able to memorize its speed, so I kind of just made an educated guess there. So, dude, I don't really, I really don't want to cut. I'm sorry, I really don't want to cut. Especially considering that was early enough. That wasn't like towards the end of the course. I'm running out of amusing things I could actually say for dying here. You know, of course, 
I usually don't find this area that hard. I usually find the other area a lot harder. So, of course, I mess it up. I mess this area up, and I'm actually fine with the, the one we just did before. You know, very typical. The, the last thing you can actually do with LPing is predict anything, like how anything is going to go. But you know what? We're on the moving platform, so if we lose the light, it's like, hey, I'm floating on midair. Let's try not to fall off the damn bridge this time. And you know what? I am in a pretty damn good mood despite all these mess ups because we're only 15 minutes in, honestly, and I'm, this is pretty much the end of the video. I just want to get this last damn power cell. Okay, so let's go up. How many freaking elevators have? Okay, here's my question. Who the hell designed this thing? I don't mean the level. I mean, like, in, in the world of this game, why are there so many elevator shafts? Like, honestly, who the hell would go in there? I, I guess, like, for mining purposes, but, like, you know what? My thing is, if there were giant fucking spiders and crystals that, like, glow when you smack them in the face, I would probably stay out of this cave. Not to mention all the dark eco. I mean, like, the blue eco is the one that they actually use for energy, so there's really no... You know, no need to harvest Dark Eagro, necessarily. I don't know if these platforms are gonna, like, you know... If these are gonna flip over when I jump on them. But nevertheless, we got our power cell. So after this, I'm just gonna check to make sure that there's nothing else left that we need to do in this... Oh, sorry. Uh, the fed I, I accidentally smacked the microphone there, so if you hear anything, that's what it was. We now have every power cell in the spider cave. So, thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we are going to be taking on the Snowy Mountain, the second major level of the Volcanic Crater section of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. <laughs> See you guys next time.